Hello. Hello, my friends. It's Zena for this video. I have no makeup on, which means we're getting ready together. And if you're new to my channel, hello for the first time. We're getting ready together. So the last get ready with me was it was a few months ago. So it's, it was it was basically just a long time. So um, obviously my look has changed, and I'm going to be doing that look for you guys. This is my everyday makeup look. I do this literally every day because it's so easy i hope you enjoy it and um let's just get to it i have to go somewhere so hopefully i do this before the sun goes down let's go so to get started i'm going to introduce some palettes to you so these are the palettes i'm using this look is literally peachy i like the whole pink look so as you can tell right here this is the Too faced sweet peach palette and this is the Too faced just peachy mattes palette i got both as gifts but before i got them as gifts i did really want these palettes just because they're the colors that i need in my life these are the only colors i need look at that wow my rainbow lights so i moisturize every morning and every night it's just very important to keep your face moisturized especially in winter my skin gets very dry so the moisturizer i use is this one, the Intense, I'm trying to read backwards, Hydration Face Cream from Mineral Fusion. So I've used this for quite a while. This is my second bottle. Okay, what am I doing now? Oh, eyebrows, okay. So the next thing I do is go in with a Glossier boy brow thing. I got this for free from them, which was very kind. Thank you, Glossier, for that. Um, I also got a bunch of other products, but anyway, this is the one I really like. I use this to sort of like prime my eyebrows. It's probably not the actual use for this thing, but it gets the job done. So I just set up my eyebrows using this. It's the white one? I, I assume it's used to shape your eyebrows, so I, that's what I've been using it for. I really like this one, so I think I would buy it. Next thing I do is I prime my eyelids using this Urban Decay eyeshadow. I, I forgot how to read eyeshadow primer potion. I put it on the bottom too. Put it here. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. So I just gently dab it on my eyelids all over. Give them a nice pat. And then once that's done, I just go in with my eyebrows. And I just use a powder. I've used this NYX eyebrow powder thing for quite some time. How long has it been? It's been a while. It's still going on strong, so I would recommend it too. So I'm just filling in all the spots that need to be filled in. And my eyebrows... I make them sort of straight, kind of goes like this. And get the other side. Just really going in at the ends. I use the gray one to make it a little light. I used to make my eyebrows really dark, but now I'm just, just going easier on them just filling in doing the bare minimum and then after that's done we're going inside so just filling in the rest and then lastly this brow Okay, so done with that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh my god. And then after that, we do the fun part, which is the eyeshadow. I put on a very light, a light base all over, all over my lid. Oh look, it's me. There I am. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing I do is I go in with this color. It's called Peaches and Cream. It's a very light, look, it's my lamp. It's a very light pink color. So I just go in with one color all over my lid. And I just kind of check and make sure it's all blended. And go in with the other lid. I 
I like to put a little on the bottom too. So the next color I use is this one. It's the Just Peachy one. It's a little more pink than the Peaches and Cream. So I go in with this on my lid. And then I put it on the bottom as well. Then I go in with this color. It's the Summer Yum. And I put this on the outside of my lids. Just like right here. There we go. I like a nice flambe burnt peach look. And then I attempt to blend it out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's life. And then I go in with a little bit on the bottom. And then I use the, you can see it right there, it's this one. It's called Trick, it's a Naked 3 palette. And then I go in with my finger, just get the most out of it with your finger. So I put it on my finger, and then I put this on top of my lid. Just go crazy with the glitter. Just all over the bottom, kind of just gives your eyes a little pop. So once you're done with that, we go in with kind of my favorite part. Yeah, it's my favorite part. It's the liner. So I use the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. It's, a, it's just an eyeliner. Works well. This needs all concentration. Here we go, kids. So I go for a very small point because I'm going to build it up with my eyeshadow later on. So here we go with the next one. We're almost there. <sighs> Okay, I did it. I did it, right? Okay, I did it, I did it, I did it. Ooh, okay, I didn't mess up. Ooh. Okay, so now once the liner is done, we do my favorite part, which is sort of giving it a smoky sort of look. So I go in with the Naked 2 palette just because it has the black shadow. It's like pitch black, that's why I really like it. It's called Blackout. We have a very strong liner here. We're going to make it a little more faded out, a little blurry. So we're going to go in with black and we're just going to blend it out. Here we go, I got black on the brush. We're just gonna go in. So the difference is, this one's more soft, this one's hard. That's just the point of this. You could blend it out a little more. So then we go in with the next one, gotta go on this side. I'm really just going for the whole smoky, faded out Jimin kind of effect. He has that sort of like smoky effect going on. I don't have mono lids, so I, it's a little different for me, but still, he kind of get the point. So basically, Jimin is kind of like the inspiration for this look. Okay, so we're done with that. Good, great. Okay, let's... Mascara and then BB cream and then lips. Oh my god. This mascara is very extra I also got it as a gift. I kind of just got it from my mom. Just use whatever Affordable mascara you have first. I just curl my lashes. I don't have falsies Although it would have been nice if I had some falsies. I have like two pairs, but they're not really great So I just use whatever eyelashes I have on my face. I'm gonna go in right here.
Good, great, got it. Maybe one more. There we go. Put on your most attractive face. Put on your mascara. If you can use both hands doing your mascara, then high five. Woo. Okay, and then the bottom lashes. And then just wipe off any mistakes you made. Okay, so that is the finished eye look. I use BB cream just to cover the redness, you know, because my face can get red sometimes and it just gives a more even sort of complexion. I use the Claire's BB cream. It's this little mochi kind of thing. So this is the brand. It's called Claire's. And it's a Korean brand and it's apparently cruelty free. The only problem with this is that there's only one or two colors. I think there's only one. So if you're about my skin color, then you're fine. But it's really just, it's, it's super limited. It's just one color, so. That's the only problem I have with it. But otherwise, it's, it's cruelty free. It's, it's a nice brand. I've been using this for months. So I just put this all over my cheeks because for some reason with my skin, I always get red for no reason. It's a BB cushion. So you just squeeze on and then BB cream comes out onto the cushion. You just put it all over your face. It's like a refreshing sort of pop of, I don't know where I'm going with that sentence. And then I put on my forehead just to make it even, so it's just not on my cheeks. It's kind of everywhere. And that is it for the BB cream. Finally, I just put on whatever I want on my lips. I just go, where's my lip balm? There it is. <laughs> I put on lip balm first. Just gotta keep it moisturized. And then I put on these lip tint things. The brand is Korean. It's Etuidu House. Oh, I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. Here. So I just go in with the pink. You know, sometimes I use orange. Sometimes I use red. I kind of just mix them together like watercolor paints. And then just like that, I am done with the look. Let me just take off my fan. So I took this off, and this is the final look. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. I hope this was useful in some kind of way. Maybe. But yeah, that is it for this video. I will see you very soon. Uh, thank you for watching, and yeah. Um, let's end it with a hug because I used to do that and I haven't been doing that and some people have been like, why aren't you hugging us anymore? So, here we go, okay. Alright, let me put my mirror away. Okay, let's bring it in for a hug, okay. Here we go. Okay, let's bring it in. Nice and warm. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>